So, good afternoon everyone. My name is Nalfa Nipomoseno and I am the last reporter of this group. So, my topic is all about ELIS, 10 principles for the SLE classroom. Hello classmates, we are group 2. So, first, the 10 principles, principles for the SLE classroom. Due to the lack of census among researchers as to how institutions can best facilitate second language acquisition, Reed Ellis recommends the following 10 basic principles for teachers to reflect on and to consider in the classroom with second language principles. So, the 10 principles. First pin principles, instruction needs to ensure that learners develop both a rich reporter, report, reporter of formulaic expression and role-based competence. So, formulaic expressions are common phrases or expressions. So, for example, learning uh, sentences, okay? How are you? I don't know. What is your name? And I don't want to. Next, the second principles. Instruction needs to ensure that learners fo focus predominantly on meaning. So, a task-based approach is recommend where teachers and learners engage in activities using the second language as a way to communicate so a second language is any language that a person uses other than a first or native language so why labot ng formulaic expressions kaysa number 2 na so Proceed to sa principles number three. Instruction needs to ensure that learners focus on form. Form na siya, guys. So, there are some ways for teachers to focus on form. So, first, through inductive or deductive grammar lessons So unsa nakalahi sa inductive or deductive so in inductive involve sa pagprocess diri ang matutudlo nga mo provide sila og example para madali ra masabtan sa ilhang students an ang deductive diri ang examples the teachers Write simple sentences, sentences to explain the roles of the past and the present tenses. So next, true communicate tasks designed to provide opportunities for learners to practice grammatical structures while focus primarily meaning. And the third one, true opportunities for learners to plan how they will perform a communicate task before they started. So next, the fourth principles instructions needs to focus on developing implicit knowledge of the second language while neglecting implicit knowledge and according to so according to anderson distinctions between declarative knowledge and procedural procedural knowledge derived above the knowledge be the final cause of institution so next the principles Number five, instructions needs to take into account the learner's both syllables. So, according quarter 1976 cited in this 2008, introduce the term of both in syllables to refer to the capacity that any learners of a uh, second languages has of learning grammar as implicit knowledge so next 
principles. Successful instructed language learning requires intensive second language implicit. So, it is expected that in a second language acquisitions, so learners will have access to a meaningful amount of input out by the classroom. The seventh principles. Successful instructive language learning also requires operation opportunities for output. So this does not refer to controlled practices exercise but to communicative tasks in a language program such as encouraging conversation on topics. So the next principles Number eight, the opportunity to interact in the second language is central to developing second language proficiency. So, it is a big challenge for teachers nga mo create sila o write kind of instructions that foster acquisition. So, in this principle number eight, there are five key requirements for creating a classroom rich in that kind of interactions. So first, create a context language used where learners have a reason to attain language. And next, allow learners to initiate topics and to control topic development. And the third, provide opportunities for learners to use the language to express their own personal meaning. For example, guys, kanang koan mag-provide ang usaka maestra og kanang words nga adunay adunay kanang maka-create Kanang maka-create, for example, ang example during a word sky, mahal kita, or miss mo siya. Kanang nga words, pwede na makreate o personal meaning sa usaka, bata. So, number four, helps learners to participate on language-related activities that are beyond their current level of proficiency. And, number five, offers full range of context that provides opportunities for learners to engage eyeful performance in the language. So, number nine. Principle 9, instructions needs to take account of individual differences in learners. So, as a teacher, magbutang lang yung tag instructions para ang kay, lailahi ba ya ang mga bata kuan? Lailahi ilang skill and interest. So, number 10, principles 10. In assessing learners' second language proficiency, it is important to examine trees as well as controlled productions. So, in this principle, number 10, number 10, there are four types of measurement has been identified by Norris N. or Tiga. So, first, metalinguistic judgment. For example, dere kay ang grammatically. And number two, selected response. So, example kay multiple choice. And the fourth, constrained constructed response. So, ang example ani kay ang feeling, feeling exercise. Like mga exercise one, like mga assist meeting na. And that Last one, sa number 10 na 4 types of measurement, 
free constructed responsive so con from the word construct so imong i-construct pananglitan ang teachers maghatag og maghatag og like example sa com communicative task kay ang invitation letter so ang teachers nga nagprovide og invitations letter so adunay gibutang didto nga kana ganing questions nga panalitan ang invitations kato nga gihatag ni teachers kay kay about sa birthday party so ang so ang sulod jud ana kay about uh, ang sagad jud ana pangutanan no kay can you join to my birthday party ing ana mao na ang example sa communicate communicative task so the summary many times have been proposed to explain how children learn their first language children acquire the language in infancy the first language progress is in predictable stages at child development yes ang mga bata no kung infant kay or mag edad og mga 2 years old ang masaga dog yun ang istorya no kay mama papa ngunana and that's all thank you